Live. We're back with map number three, baby. 1-1 one, one between Wholesome and SR Peak Check here in Dawn of Legends round of 16. Can you believe it? It all comes down to this, Val. Yeah, the first map three that we've seen during this tournament, the, that at least we've been able to watch uh, so far. And oh my goodness, have both maps been insanely close. We have the classic, you know, theological difference is 2-2-2 two, two, two better than 3-3. Three, three. Well, we're finding out here today as oh. the top two teams go against each other in this battle of philosophies. Look at how far back the GOATS comp has decided to take themselves. They just want to try and take over the point here, I guess. And they break down our least favorite roof in all of Shibuya. I mean, the off angles here coming through from Hydron and Sinatra are going to be difficult to do. Wait, Saipe is going for the duels again. If Saipe wins these, we've seen before. Sa Saipe wins this. We've seen Cyber win these again and again. Huge amount of damage coming out of the Punisher with the help of the Rocket Raccoon. That's going to be the shift expended by the Loki. That's a huge cooldown that's now going to be... Whoa! Fancy! Combines with Cloudy to get two early picks. Only one of those can be rezzed. Not sure if Cyber is going to be rezzable. Indeed, he is. It's been set up by Drijo. Good thinking. That's two ticks already given over now for the side of SR Peak Check. And that means that Kaluch has to come in here and try and tank this. And I don't think he has the support for it. I mean, we've got Rocket Raccoon up here on the top, but I just think there's too much pressure. They're just going to force him off point and then wall him off. A space has to relocate over to the other archway, and Kalush has to get out of here. All right, Sinatra going down with a shotgun. One street drive. That's one. That's two tap coming through. The respawn beacon just in time. Drew up coming through from Cloudy. And there's so much healing from Dredro here. Oh, Cloudy. Oh, so much healing from Command. Oh, this could be a waste here from Sinatra. If they can't get onto the point, still the damage is going to come on through. This is one of the most valuable ultimates you've got in this comp, especially against multiple tanks. Command noted. The aim is good. The amplifier invested. Who's going to come in? Was that a smoke grenade kill I just saw? Choke on your aspirations, director, says Sinatra, as they just run him down with a shotgun. That is fucking busted. That is absolutely insane. But look at the old advantage that we have here on the side of SRP Check now. Essentially four ultimates going in this fight, two on the side of Wholesome, and they only need 33% here, and they've got two minutes to do it. Wait, Saipa is cooking. Saipa is cooking. Here we go, going after hydration. Takes I mean, down a bunch in, of the clones. He's in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. The clones are just deleted by Saipe, and now he's out. Oh, shift used. That's a major resource that's going to be missing. Uh oh. Ampl uh -oh. Ampl Amplifier used. That's a lot of damage. Who dares come onto the point already? That's going to be some progress gained over here. Hydron takes to the sky. Remix is up. LC-130 above, baby, and it's just raining down so much damage, but I don't know if it's going to be good enough going up against the huge amount of healing. Yes, Cloudy falls, and Hydron still can make it work, getting aggressive. Command tries to keep their team in this. Drujo needs the healing to come through from Command, and Hydron overextended to try and find that. Just gets rounded on by three goats rolling through. The new forest has been revealed, and I Remix has fell alongside the trees. Down goes Space, and that's going to be a cap, though. Yep, and we see what happens once this kind of 3-3 comp gets moving. It's very hard to slow them down as we saw last map. And the big difference on this map though, a lot of high ground available all throughout the map. But most of that is also destructible. And I think that's going to be the big thing that this 3-3 comp is going to do. They're going to have to remove that high ground and force it into kind of a two-dimensional fight where they have, I think, a bigger advantage. Through all was big, but was easily mitigated by both a strange shield and the Loki shift. That's big resources that are now gone, but the same can be said of Cloudy here as Doge is taking a huge amount of damage moving forward. Sinatra's got their own ult and Doge is still behind, 30% behind in fact, and is even taken down by the Wall of Eye remix. So now guess what? You move forward with the Punisher. The auto shotty is just laying into these tanks, but wasn't looking it's towards so much the damage. side. They didn't see Doge coming through, and that means that Doge has now been able to cover the window where they didn't have the ultimate to try and cover for Sinatra's. Oh my, the force though, keeping them locked in this fight is not gonna end anytime soon. Hydration having those clones up, keeping Remix and Kalu steady as they're able to push forward, push them all the way back to the gate, and Cloudy, Cloudy goes down! Yeah, Cloudy they down. Any sort of they have, Saibe cannot keep them up despite having three clones out. My goodness. And look at this, five ultimates now available for Wholesome. So much now, to try and give Sinatra space to work oh with. Oh man, I'm getting, I'm getting some selfless flashbacks here with how how far they're pushing up into these guys' face. Oh, look at this off angle. This could be huge for the Punisher. Huge amounts of damage. 
We never want to pick tree drive. That's going to be public enemy number one. But it's almost going to be, uh, it's going to be essentially a 10 out five. I think Doge see him though. I think Doge see him. Oh, two supports caught here for Kaluj. It's a huge play. It's going to be answered here by command. So yes, there is one down. Kaluj, you're not going to be over. What's going on over here? Command keeps everyone alive. Finty gets a big eye of Agamotto. So now tries to decide. Oh, they fall down though. The full pressure of the freeze gone over the smoke grenade gets another another smoke grenade kill unbelievable value Vince is going to come up rise up to the challenge wants to take care of the punisher and indeed will find them space now on the run the small rocket raccoon is unable to dodge the gamma waves radiating from Sta strange I remix going to be that's what they needed, they needed to get Sinatra off that high ground otherwise they were never going to get any progress and once they do that they're able to finally kind of snowball everything else able to get this pressure onto the tanks finally remix going to go down wow the, yeah. the space dagger is huge here oh hydron as well my goodness and this is going to oh, mean no. that doge still is able to try and deal with the punisher ult via the use of the asteroid m the thing with this game, you know, another another, I think, great difference from the arrivals. You don't necessarily need to be on the cart in order to push it. You just need to activate it. And then if you put people on the cart, you go a little bit faster, but you can push up the 60 to get to the Moving forward, Hydron needs some covering fire. And that's going to be a huge buff going over to the Punisher. Tries to take an angle. Here it is. Asteroid M likely to come on out. So much damage going to go their way. But it's nice to give it up a little bit earlier than one might imagine. Hydron still taken out There's by Sniper. And guess what? Who's winning those duels again? Saipe, Saipe, Saipe. Fincy gets three with the Eye of Agamotto. Unbelievable scenes here. But still, Kaluch holds on. The healing is good. Hydron's return. Space has almost got himself there own amp here as Kamal needs to make decisions as to when to start dancing. I don't think I've ever seen a support pick on a hell of this many times and consistently win. Unreal. This is crazy. Kalush wants the eye of Agamotto. Only gets the group. Will the focus fire be enough? It's going to be a good bubble coming through from the side of Doge. Now hydration needs I to try and find some way to make this happen. It's going to be a copy onto the second Doctor Strange. Yet another eye of Agamotto. And guess what? They're all over Cloudy once more. An ult comes through from the side of I Remix, But there's not really much follow-up to be done with it. Saipe now forced to try and make things work on the Lunar Snow. And now Sinatra. So much damage to try and deal with. But does he have the healing to sustain here? Huge shield here from Doge. Absorbs infinite damage. They have to line this, otherwise it's going to be a massive ult from Sinatra. They do not have the asteroid M as we keep saying, but the totem from Loki! Keep it up and no! Kaluj, Kaluj gets two or three with the Eye of Vashanti, or the Eye of Agamotto rather. And that is all that they need to try and finish this one off. Of course, there's no oh, saving. Oh, Cloudy, so I don't think that was well a problem. Damn, Remix was so close to the ultimate as well. At the end of point two, that is going to be a halt here in favor of Wholesome. SR Peak Check needs to batten down the hatches. But if anybody can do it, it is SR Peak Check. So a full hold, essentially, last map. And just getting the cart moving, just getting the Spider Zero moving is going to be a challenge in and of itself with this 3-3 composition anchored around Shibuya here. I mean... They've got to get Sinatra off that high ground. If if SRP Chick does, allows Sinatra to just kind of hang out on that high ground with the Punisher, with the Rocket Raccoon, this is going to be a short map for them because they're just going to dominate and blast their way through. I found an ad that says more eyes, more safety. Kalud certainly believing that after the last fight. Excellent usage of the Eye of Agamotto. Gets two, possibly three. I know at least gets Fincy and Cloudy. May well have taken down Doge as well. And beautiful follow-up. One of the things I'm going to be interested in here is how Hydron and Sinatra deal with angling against this death ball. How far can you go from each other to lay down that shepherding fire while not really exposing your tanks to getting run on by six? I'm going to look forward to seeing where Saipe places these clones to, ha to have him move around and take all of these different... You know, kind of weird offensive. I feel like this is a he's the type of person that just goes into the map by himself and it's just like, where can I be weak? Don't forget. Where can I put myself so that they can't see me, but I have a good angle on it? I imagine Fins is doing a scout with a portal here. Actually, not going to be using the portal scout, just using their eyes for a moment. And Kalu just cooking. A shortcut through space. 
Taking a wide angle here, and it looks like they are going to be taking the portal. Okay, moving up onto here. Fincy is oh, already moving. Oh, they went all moves. the way around. Yeah. Fincy already made moves that he's not going to be available anymore. Kalucha's already getting a little bit of pressure on point, but could uh, find themselves isolated here as iRemix comes down to they join need to get them. Sinatra off his archway, though. Yeah, Sinatra cannot be allowed free reign over here. For longer, but he can fly out. Oh, here comes Fincy. A fully charged E. And that means the space is down. Beautiful plays from Fincy. Absolutely wonderful. Takes away the rocket. And now Kaluj has to make a choice. Does he stay up here or does he have to help pressure point? And if he helps pressure point down, Oh, Psycho wins it again? By himself. God, this is my... This isn't right. Psycho just keeps winning those duels. Oh, wait. Doge Biceps actually surrounded here by Loki clones. Does need a little bit of help, and indeed it is forthcoming from the side of Cloudy. Oh, that early usage of the now Res Beacon. Sinatra in the back line. They're gonna, yeah. They're gonna about, don't, do not try to take that dual Fincy, though. He's got a shotgun. So what one of the tactics we're seeing at the moment, which is really cool, is Fincy is using the tanks on point to build up their E and then rising up for Sinatra for a 1-2 E combo and trying to wombo that uh, Punisher. Oh, I have a Komodo. That's two. It's unbelievably large. And guess what? Collusion I remix are already dead. You can only res one of them. I don't even know if the res beacon's up because it was used earlier by the Loki. Hydration's down as well. And Sinatra once again forced to be scurrying into their hidey holes. Oh, incredibly low. And there's the kill. Oh, there's the rest oh, as well. Look who's back. <laughs> back again. But look who got the kill onto Sinatra as well. It's Saipei. Again, this man... Uh, oh, hold on, I gotta take a look at the stats real quick. Saipei is over here at 9,300 damage. Oh, Vrob is actually on one right now. Homie is crazy. That's double what Hydration has. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. Hydron for now, under pressure. Should be able to win that duel at range at least. Hydration just keeping them alive. An early amp here from Dredro. Question is, do you want to try and fight this one? Sinatra certainly seems to think so. Fincy just about manages to dodge away. Dredro has gone down the same of Doge. And this could be curtains now. It's a critical mass of ultimates. It's I play again. SRP check. Command keeping everyone. Fincy, what can they cook up here? They're so close to their ultimate. Another copy coming through. Big healing given over by Hydration. The Lunar Snow Dance keeps everyone in the fight. Saipe is moving over now. Gets another amp of their own. There's still a tick to go, and that's oh, a Fincy nice was lead anti -healed. done. Oh, Fincy reached for full energy. Hydron finally gets his man, starts to find themselves some heads. Two supports taken down in that one, and now there's three and a half minutes to try and get through second. But as well, that's not a lot of time when dealing with this three, three, three and a half minutes. Two fights if, if they drag on, as we saw. You know, so you've got to try to you've got to try to move these along quickly. If you're losing the fight, you know, wholesome, just get out of it. Don't even don't even try. Don't let that fight extend on. I go through the portal as a... Who knows? Hydron. We're fr we're figuring spectator stuff out too. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can go through the portal as a camera. Let Fin's... me take the portal. Wait, Fincy is being overwhelmed here. Judge. Oh, Sniper's falling off the map. Oh, someone... oh, massive fuck up on the res beacon. It must have been off the map. And Sniper was caught out as they tried to get res. Okay, Fincy needs to go big with this ultimate. Needs to grab space. It's the one and only, but Sinatra's already spotted him out. Has to just maneuver around the wall. I Remix has already taken out Doge. This could be curtains here. Fincy just forced to reset on car. I don't think there's going to be a portal to get everyone back. So this is Dire Straits, Val. Yeah, and not a lot of ults to bring it back. They have the Fincy with the Ivaka Moto, but Kalush has been doing seen. a pretty good job this map of keeping him in check. Cloudy's been seen. Might have to be a touch here from Saipair. They can't I'm even get, get out of there. there. It can't be done. Wholesome take the series 2-1, but what a banger. What a Oh, man, the, the res beacon on the side, man. The res beacon on the side instantly kills Saipe. Wild. What a wild way for this to kind of end with that res beacon.